I am going to show you now how to make an accurate Enfield rifle musket cartridge, the British pattern. According to the book titled A Companion to the New Rifle Musket, it was published in 1855 in London by Parker and Son. These are the pictures I took from the book. Here you can see the three paper sheets needed for the cartridge and here are the drawings how to make the cartridge. You will need a brass powder funnel to fill the powder. Of course you need a mini -air bullet with a cavity. This one is not a Pritchett bullet as it has uh, grease grooves and uh, the cavity is deeper than with the British pattern bullet. You need a former with a conical end. You need a mandrel with a cavity one end. You need a small tool to measure the powder and of course I'm going to use corn wet instead of powder now just for the testing. I already cut the paper sheets so start the project with rolling up the paper sheet with the letter A like this When you're done, go on with the paper sheet B. Do you about one centimeter or three quarters of a centimeter here at the end of the mandrel from this paper and, and roll it up. When you're done, Hold back the paper into the cavity of the mandrel and use the former to push in the paper. And there you have your powder chamber ready. Okay. So this is the paper with the letter C. Put the bullet nose into the cavity of the mandrel. Leave about three quarters of a centimeter paper at the end of the bullet and start to roll it up tightly like this and when you're done, fold back the paper into the cavity of the bullet and use the mandrel to push in the paper. When you pull out the mandrel, be careful to leave the powder chamber inside. Okay, so now the cartridge is ready to, to be filled up with a small brass funnel, some powder imitation, the original load was two and a half drums of fine black powder, just some more. The level of the powder should be exactly where the end of the powder container is. So when you're done with this just twist the end and push it back a little into the powder chamber. And there you go. The cartridge is ready for lubrication. I melted my lube. The original lube of the Enfield cartridge was six parts of tallow and one part of beeswax. Dip the end of the cartridge where the bullet is into the mixture. And that's enough. The Pritchett bullet of the Enfield cartridge was heavily undersized. It was 0 0.568 inches in the 577 bore. So there's quite a big gap between the bullet and the bore. But this gap was filled up with the paper patching, with the lubricated paper patching. So the soldier, after pouring the powder into the bore, loaded the bullet with the 
paper layers of the cartridge and it was rammed down onto the powder after that and after capping the gun was ready to fire.